Now, we have a very important uh, matter to turn to, our third subject for this morning. We're going to have a clip now uh, of a lecture I gave about 15, 16 years ago uh, on, on the Hajj. Um, so we come back in a minute. Give me a chance. Let me have some water. It is in Sahih Bukhari. And Allah says, Let you had general bait. Let you had general bait. While you tamaranna, the people will continue to make the Hajj to the house of Allah. And people will continue to perform the Umrah to the house of Allah, the Kaaba. Ba'da khuruj ya'juj wa ma'juj. Even after Gog and Magog have been released. And then the Hadith goes on to say, La taqumu sa'atu hatta la yuhajja. That the last day would not come until the Hajj has been abandoned. This hadith is in Sahih Bukhari. Let me repeat it. People will continue to perform the Hajj and the Umrah even after the release of Gog and Magog. But the last day would not come until the Hajj has been abandoned. And so when that day comes that the Hajj is abandoned, it will confirm <laughs> that Gog and Magog were released long ago. Are you following me? Well, I am anticipating that the abandonment of the Hajj will take place. All right, let me ask you when. When? Do you presume that the Hajj will be abandoned? Let me see if any of the sisters have an answer. Good to hear you now. Said the Prophet What do you think will cause the abandonment of the Hajj? My wife could also answer the question. Yes? When Dajjal rules. Mm -hmm. All right. Anybody else? I like that answer. Anybody else? If they are blocked from going, they are blocked from going. Prohibited from going, yes. What event is likely to take place which will cause the abandonment of the Hajj? Huh? The big wall, correct. When Israel wages a big war, which will witness the dramatic territorial expansion of the state and then a concomitant. Concomitant means taking place at the same time. A concomitant attack on the US dollar and it collapses and all the paper money in the world collapse and the US economy collapses and then Israel replaces the United States as the ruling state in the world. That big war is likely to inflate the passions of the Muslims around the world to such a fever pitch that the Saudi government cannot allow the Hajj to take place because such a Hajj would likely threaten the foundations of the Saudi state. And so they might use some cock and bull story about some virus 
which is a great danger to health. And so, and get World Health Organization to issue an advisory, so, and then they suspend the Hajj. And then the next year, they continue the suspension until eventually the Hajj is abandoned. Hmm? And so this event... Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah awwaluhu wa akhiru. I gave this lecture, uh, uh, I think it was about 20, 2004, perhaps, uh, at the Jama Masjid in San Fernando. Uh, um, it was uh, a series of lectures on Surah al Kaf. And in uh, that series of lectures, there is this clip uh, on Gog and Magog and the Hajj. And, uh, uh, I said in that clip that there might be some virus which would come and it will be used as the excuse to try to first suspend the Hajj, not abandon. And after suspension, another year, another suspension, and then a following suspension, only when there has been no Hajj for several years, then we are entitled to now declare the Hajj has been abandoned. But now, let me share with you the analysis, pick up from where I was talking 15, I notice I was a younger man in those days. I, I become older now. Uh, let me pick up from where I left off 15 years or 16 years ago, namely the timeline. This is my opinion. And you must not accept my opinion unless you are convinced that it is correct. This is my respect for your rational faculty. I, I said 15 years ago that there is a great war which is coming. The Christian eschatology, the Jewish eschatology calls it Armageddon. And our prophet, Allah's blessings be upon him, called it the Malham. And we have, we have information about that war that they don't have. We know, for example, that 99% of those who fight in that war would be killed, and therefore this cannot be conventional warfare. This has to be warfare using weapons of mass destruction. Now then, that war is going to bring about the passage, in our opinion, the passage from Pax Americana to Pax Judaica, and this will inflame passions in the world of Islam against the Saudi leadership which betrayed Islam. Betrayed, they are agents of Gog and Magog, they are agents of the Judeo-Christian Zionist alliance. Those are the people who rule in Saudi Arabia. And so the Saudi regime is going to be placed in a very dangerous situation after the Great War. Any Hajj will take place after that could bring about the collapse of the Saudi regime. And so this is my analysis. That is that they will have to take steps to suspend the Hajj and eventually get it abandoned before that great war. The great war has not as yet taken place. And so here is my timeline. My timeline is that yes, our prophet spoke about Jerusalem being sent to stage, and then he said about Medina being in follow-on desolation. This is already in place. And then he said the next thing would be the Great War. And I am suggesting that before the Great War takes place, there has to be a suspension of the Hajj, and then followed by another suspension, another suspension, and so on in order to protect the Saudi regime when the Great War takes place. After the Great War takes place, the next event would be the conquest of Constantinople. And then after that, the next event would be the Khuruj of Dajjal. And only after the Khuruj of Dajjal would you have Imam al-Mahdi, the emergence of Imam al-Mahdi, alayhi salam, and the return of Nabi Isa, alayhi salam. Those are uh, the deaf, the dumb, and the blind who absolutely insist with obstinacy that you cannot have any Gog and Magog in the world until Jesus has returned. 
leave them, leave them. They are people who no longer have the capacity to think and to study the Quran. But for the rest of you, and mashallah, there are so many of you there who are prepared to think. We are saying to you that our hadith, the Prophet ﷺ has made this prophecy, which is there in the clip, in the clip and which is in Sahih Bukhari. Let to hanjan al bayt that you will most certainly perform the hajj. Wala yu'tamaran, and you will most certainly continue to perform the umrah to the house of Allah. Ba'da khuruj yajuj ya wa ma'juj, even after Gag and Magag have been reached. Did you hear that? Even after Gog and Magog have been released, the Hajj will still continue. The Umrah will still continue even after Gog and Magog has been released, have been released. Please, la taqumu saatu hatta la yuhajj. Then the Hadith continues to say. That the last hour will not come until the Hajj no longer takes place. The Hajj no longer takes place. A suspension of the Hajj for one year does not qualify as fulfillment of this Hadith. So yes, there may have been suspensions of the Hajj in the past. Why waste our time with that? We're not concerned with that. He said, La taqumu sa'atu hatta la yuhajja. He's talking about when the hajj no longer takes place. Let us ask the schoolboys, give us a break. We are people who think they, can't, they cannot think, they've lost the capacity for thinking. So when the hajj no longer takes place, no more hajj then you can no longer say that Gog and Magog have not as yet been released. No, you'll be very wrong. It will not be possible for you to say, no, 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 Hajj, the Gog and Magog can only come after Nabi Isa Islam returns. You have betrayed the Quran. You have refused to study the Quran and now you pay the price for that betrayal. This is the importance of that clip. Uh, of 15 or 16 years ago. 